King Charles and Queen Camilla visited Brick Lane, East London, on Wednesday. King Charles abided by custom and took off his shoes to visit the historic Brick Lane Mosque earlier this week. This visit reaffirmed the monarch's desire to represent multicultural and multi-faiths Britain. But it also showed the thrifty king, known to prefer reusing, mending and re-wearing for years his outfits, may have pushed a pair of his socks to the limit. A picture taken inside the mosque shows what appears to be a hole in His Majesty's right black sock. Fans responded to the images on social media, with one declaring his, one of us. Beth Parker wrote, King Charles is truly one of us. Most of us have at least one pair of socks with a hole, Stephen Taylor declared, just like us. The minor incident appears to have gone unnoticed during the visit, and the whirlwind morning in Brick Lane was hailed a success, as King Charles was praised for his willingness to listen to multicultural Britain. More than a thousand royal fans and well-wishers lined the streets to catch a glimpse of Charles and Queen Camilla. As they walked down Brick Lane, the symbol of the Bangladeshi community in London, their majesties followed a group of dancers wearing colourful attires and scattering flower petals in their path. Charles and Camilla stopped to shake hands and exchange a few words with some of the royal supporters. The king was given a box of jalebi and Bengali samosas by a local restaurant, which he promised he would try later. He was also offered a cup of tea in the Graham Bangla restaurant, but was whisked away before being able to take a proper sip. The visit to Brick Lane aimed to spotlight local charities and businesses in the heart of the Bangladeshi community in the capital. But it also involved a meeting between the monarch, his consort and people who were actively involved in the anti-racism movement of the 1960s and 1970s. Most poignantly, the king planted a tree dedicated to Altab Ali, a young Bangladeshi man murdered in 1978 by three teenage boys while he was walking home from work. The tree was planted in a local park that was renamed after the victim in 1998. The murder of Altab Ali was the culmination of a period of extreme racism and violence experienced by the Bangladeshi community in London, as explained by one of the king and queen consort's hosts on Wednesday. Aisha Qureshi, co-founder of British Bangladeshi Power and Inspiration, said she had asked the monarch to visit Brick Lane in October, when he met representatives of the UK's South Asian community in Edinburgh. The 44-year-old lawyer said the royal visit showed how engaged His Majesty is, with multiculturalism and the anti-racism movement. Charles, she added, is very attuned to the communities of this country, and wants to reign in a way which is inclusive and supportive of those communities, as demonstrated by his engagements in Brick Lane and how he listened to people's concerns.